If you are looking for new irons in 2024, if you are undecided which irons you should go for and which are the best of 2024 to take you into that 2025 season, then today that is exactly what we are talking about. We are putting the P770 2024 iron against the Tacoma 101. So our mid handicapper is going to take us away. We're out here at the fifth hole here at Waterfront Golf and Dave is going to be taking a four iron off the tee. We are starting with a P770, Dave's going to take us away. So straight away there from the hollow body, is that a high launch, Dave? Yeah, decent. Straight, straight down straight. the middle. So a good shot there straight away, Dave. So yeah. interesting, P770, we know it's probably one of the best selling clubs in this area of the market. We've tested it a couple of weeks ago. For you, still ticking a lot of boxes? Still ticking a lot of boxes, Chris. Yeah. Um, I like it. If I had to if I had to go away from the Tacomas, it's definitely one I'd be looking at. Perfect. And you've been using these Tacomas now for a couple of years, Dave. Yes. So obviously used to them. Looks wise, again, when you're looking down the golf ball, looks a little bit bigger maybe? Slightly, possibly slightly. Um, top edge is maybe a little bit thicker, but I don't think there's much in it. Okay, perfect. So let's see this now so dave doesn't normally have the four iron in the bag so dave normally has some hybrids in but it depends where he's playing so again when you're looking for clubs guys are you thinking price first again we know you want performance but is budget obviously one of the big talking points we know with dave that's exactly why you went for these dave yeah um you know you you'd got you'd got some to test um and i couldn't find any difference between those and any other irons oh, they weren't they certainly weren't any worse than any other irons that I was testing so no. why go for the most more expensive ones when I didn't need to yeah perfect and again that video is on the channel guys against the P790 so Dave was getting more distance out of the Tacomos his dispersion was a little bit better and hopefully we show that today out here on the golf course no pressure then Chris yeah. A little bit anything, lower ball a bit, flight. A bit fady, but... A missed strike slightly, yeah, Dave. Great, so it'll be interesting there to see, obviously, the difference in, obviously, a missed strike and a well-struck P770 straight away. And, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. And if you want to hit that subscribe button, you can help us on the journey trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And, again, if you're a regular viewer and a subscriber of the channel, welcome back. Thank you for the support. And hopefully you're enjoying the new formats and the new content that we have got with Dave. Again, what do you want to see coming up in the next couple of months and over the winter to help you? So interesting enough guys, up here on the fairway, we can see that Tacoma is around about 5 to 10 yards behind the P770, so a well-struck 4-iron compared to a missed strike. So very interesting there, if it was well-struck with that 101T, it would be right up there, potentially past it. But let's jump in the studio before we finish off here on this fantastic par 5 at Waterfront. So inside, we are going to start with Dave's Tacoma 101T. So we're going to hit three shots into the green here. We've got 150 yards, which would be around about Dave's full distance with that. Obviously, it's going to carry a little bit shorter. But let's see what we can do. Strike-wise, Dave? Decent for me. Decent strike for Dave. So carry... Yep, yeah, just short of 130, running out to 136. So, a little bit shorter maybe than normal, Dave. Yeah, perhaps. Would you say? Yeah. Let's see. So, it's ready. It's all about consistency here. So, seeing that, that are we getting a consistent ball flight? Are we getting a consistent start line from Dave? So again, turned over ever so slightly, but a good strike, Dave. Better. 130 carry going 140 just on the fringe. So again, good number there from Dave. So third and final one here. Obviously greens in regulation, 33.3%. But as, let's say, an average golfer, let's say as an everyday golfer, that would be inside where you're expected to hit it. You've got a chance at a putt there, Dave. And that's what you want from a mid-iron. Correct. Ooh, a bit leaky, but nice. So, consistent ball flight, 
Again, 126, going 135. So average probably around about 135 there, 130 carry. So stopping pretty quick. So exactly what we would expect from those Tacoma 101 tees. We know we've put graphite shafts in those, very consistent. Let's see what the P770s do. We're gonna hit three again here. So let's, we'll leave those shots on there so we can compare obviously flights, compare the distance as well. That was me, not the club, Chris. Yeah, interesting there again. Missed drive, but it would be safe there. Gone 132. So again, total distance-wise, we've not maybe lost out much. That was more Dave, unfortunately. Let's see. So lower there, but that was Dave. So we'll hit two more here. Strike-wise, Dave. Uh, a little bit better. Okay, 126, but, running out to 136, uh, 137, so running out that little bit more. Not yeah. a perfect strike, so interesting there. Not a great strike, but still did as well as a Tacoma. Yes. Consistency-wise, again for Dave, confidence with those Tacomas. Might have got in that three better shots on average. How will this one do? Better strike. A little bit off balance, but not terrible. Okay, so straight away, good strike. That's got up to that 150 yeah. number. A little bit left, so a little bit of a pull. Did go a little bit further. So I would say the Tacoma takes it in here, but what's going to take the closest to the pin? So interesting numbers there inside, Dave. Obviously, like we've seen before from Tacoma, it's really performing just as well as those premium brands. We know it's obviously premium brands in Tacoma, or premium brand, obviously more affordable because it's a direct-to-consumer. So if people are obviously thinking about getting a direct-to-consumer iron, what would you say, Dave? There's a couple to go at, isn't there? There's, there's Tacoma, Cali, people like that. But yep. Obviously, I'm not going to go anywhere else but these, am I? No, and again, yes, Dave's had some new shafts put in there, so that's something that you can also do with direct-to-consumers. You could potentially order the heads and then go and have a fitting for a shaft so that's where you can obviously you've got more options potentially but performance wise right up there so that's a nice seven iron straight down the middle and should leave us the same in so again nice trajectory there dave obviously much higher than you've obviously had previously yeah with your before you had the dcb callaways I did, yeah, Apex. Yep. Yeah. So again, obviously, um, those did come out a little bit stronger, lofted-wise. These, again, loft-wise, guys. We've got 32 degrees in the Tacoma 79, and here we have 33 degrees. So very close. Again, good comparison. So a little Better bit of a lower anything, ball Chris. flight, Dave. Sorry? A little bit of a lower ball fight there. Yeah, better strike, if anything, though. Better strike. Well, let's get down there and see what they've done again. Obviously, we know what they've done inside. Let's see which one's going to get closest to that flag. So down here we can see P770 on the left has gone three or four yards further. Again, Dave said it was a better strike, so obviously that's going to have a big, obviously, play in that. But it's Como right there. But now the test is which one's the closest before we get Dave's verdict on the feel and performance overall. So to come up first, we have 156 to the flag, Dave. Yep. So 156 to the flag, which is pretty much a perfect seven iron for Dave. So let's see. Just today, because it's a little bit downwind. A little bit downwind, yeah. It's not quite fully winter yet. You can see the leaves are starting to fall off those trees. But some of us are in short sleeves, you know. Yeah, Proper Yorkshireman. And comment below, guys. What do you want to see as film coming into this winter? Do you want to see some different lies? What else do you want to see? We're going to have more coaching on the channel. We have more of Dave, retired Dave. So a great. A little bit left, Chris. Dave, but a bit of a pull. Probably the right club. Yeah, probably the right club. A little bit of a pull, which, as we know, we can't blame the golf club for. We can blame Dave for. So let's go P770. We're a little bit closer, so 153 from here. So it was three yards further. 
with that strike. That's probably not the club either. No, let's see what Dave can do. And also a little bit left. Again, a very similar distance. There's not much in them, Chris, if I'm honest. So like Dave said there, there's not much in them. That was down to his strike. Again, a mid-handicap golfer for, for £500 less, Dave, obviously. Would you say the Tacomos perform just as well, if not better, or just a little bit worse? What would you say? I don't think there's anything in them, Chris. I really no. don't. For 500, and for 500 pounds, somebody of my ability really makes no difference. Yeah, and feel, obviously, off the club face. Let's say you strike them both well, which you've struck them both well over this video. Is there any better feel off the P770? Does it feel a little bit softer, or does the, or does the Tacomo feel a little bit softer? The I would say the Tacoma felt slightly softer, if I'm honest. Okay. Um, so interesting there, guys, if you are looking for new irons in 2024 or going into 2025, then think about that. You can always look at direct consumers. Yes, there are options now to get different shafts fitted into those, but we know the P770 is always going to be right up there at the top of the list for those players' distance irons, for those hollow body designs. What clubs are you using and what clubs you want to see Dave test in those coming months?